Hey, if you want to have a grip as strong as Brian Shaw's, you have to do what's in this video. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Coach Brian, strength coach here with criticalbench.com. And this little grip strength workout is inspired by the legend, Brian Shaw. And I'm sure you've seen Brian Shaw on YouTube, on ESPN. He's all over the place because he's the world's strongest man. So what better person to get some information from than Brian Shaw himself? I mean, he's just a freak of nature. He trains hard. He looks like an absolute monster. So I'm thinking, how can I get my arms my grip strength, my forearm strength, just as strong as Brian Shaw. So why not just mimic some of his workouts and his training in order to get those forearms that he has. So there's a video circulating right now that has Brian Shaw grabbing a 45 pound plate with three 10 pound plates on the, on, like on the perimeter. He's grabbing like the, the middle head of the, uh, or the hub of the, the plate. He's squeezing it, just picks it up. Cause you only get like that much room on that, that handle there. I can't do that and I guarantee you can't do that because you're not Brian Shaw. So what other exercises could you do to mimic that and, and also uh, some other exercises that he does as well. So another one that he uses is this right here. Grab a, uh, a dumbbell, hold the head right there. Now a cool thing that Brian Shaw uh, has spoken about over and over again, numerous times in numerous interviews, is that he doesn't go to failure with grip strength training. So th his workouts, he just does, you know, a couple seconds here and there, grabs it, switches side, because like, and I, I know his, uh, his logic behind it is that it's such a small muscle group, fingers, forearms, a little bit of the biceps and triceps as well, that it, it doesn't tolerate failure well, okay? So what I'm doing here is just a nice little dumbbell head. Heck, you can get a hex grip or a, a hex dumbbell and do the same thing. This is only 15 pounds, but again, I'm not going to failure. I'm just grabbing it right there. And he's even seen doing some of this stuff. Yeah, exactly. So this is a great way to start out. Even five pounds would be good. Now, he also says it's good to eliminate the thumb from grip strength training because the thumb is, uh, accounts for a lot of strength in that arm. So grippers are a great way to eliminate the thumb from your training. Again, taking Brian Shaw's advice, not going to failure, whatever that might look like. So if you're saying, hey, six reps is good, I maybe could do a couple more, but I'm gonna stop with six reps. You're not doing a 10 RM max or rep max you're not doing 15. You're doing something that's comfortable just to get some good strength training in that, that grip of yours. So grippers are a good tool to use and Brian Shaw recommends these as well. And I mean, there's so many people that recommend these. And the cool thing about this, throw it in your gym bag, throw it in your briefcase, your backpack, bring this anywhere and you've got a little workout uh, literally in your fingertips. Uh, another thing that Brian Shaw talks about is lack of straps. Straps are good, they have their own place, but he also says if you want to get true strength in those forearms so for your grip, you got to eliminate straps of within training. Like for heavy deadlifts, yeah, if you're going for a one RM, you're probably going to need some straps, but if just for everyday deadlifting or carries or things like that, you don't need straps. Another exercise that he recommends is a plate squeeze right there. Okay, again, not going to failure. Squeezing it, that's it. Very simple, alternating. Yeah, he's probably doing like 45 pound plates doing this. I've got 10 pounds here, 10 pound plates. That's it. Again, the variety of grip, the le or the variety of uh, the sets, the reps and things like that, that's gonna differentiate to what your goals are. So again, if you just take the Brian Shaw mentality of variety, eliminating the thumb from that, eliminating straps, but also not going to failure, you have to set your parameters. But now, let's talk sets and reps. If you're gonna do, you know, stuff like this, more plate squeezes. This is a, just a bumper plate, 25 pounds. So if you're gonna do this not to failure, you might wanna go through a circuit. So let's say 
these three exercises, four exercises I just showed you, you got your gripper, maybe knock out six to eight reps, something comfortable, switch arms obviously. You can make it in a circuit, grab this, then go to this for the second exercise. Hold that, hold that, five, 10, 20 seconds. I mean, if you can hold this for a minute, you might go to 45 seconds, 30 seconds, or go to a heavier weight, depending on your sport or the, the lift that you're training for. Like for rock climbing, you might need, you know, a little bit longer to develop, you know, muscular endurance. So the third exercise in this workout would be right here. Same thing applies, squeezing. Very simple, grip strength training workout. Alternating sides. And I can already feel my forearms pumping up. Veins are starting to pop out a little bit. And I'm not going to failure. Last one would just be a, you know, a single plate. And you can even incorporate some shrugs with this to get a little bit of upper, upper shoulder, upper back. You could do some carries, you can walk down, walk back. Again, not going to failure. This is based on Brian Shaw's uh, grip strength training principles. That's it, so with those four exercises, you have a nice little grip strength workout. Three sets, maybe do this circuit after you do a nice upper body workout, like chest, back, things like that, or even an arm day, if you have an arm day. Do this at the end of the workout because like, Brian Shaw has mentioned, and I've mentioned this in previous videos, you don't want to fatigue the arms before you do complex lifts, like your power moves, like the you know, type of Olympic lifting. You want to keep your arm, your forearms as fresh as possible. That's why it's encouraged to do grip strength training at the end of your workout. Other than that, hopefully you learned a thing or two, and hopefully you're inspired by uh, what Brian Shaw is doing, and hopefully you'll apply this little workout to your training to see some good development in those forums of yours. Before you take off, I wanna share a report that we wrote uh, for you. It's called the seven worst testosterone killers. One of two ways to get it is to go to this corner of the video, click the little arrow, that's gonna open up our video description area. There's a top link you'll see there. Click it, give us your email, and you can download the PDF for free right away. An easier way to get this report is to click this box right here. Click it, give us your email, and again, you can download that report immediately. Subscribe to us here, check out these videos here, and also make sure to click the notification bell so you stay up to date with what we've got. I'm Coach Brian, Strength Coach with CriticalBench.com. Thanks for watching.